Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn with me, Alpha Power Omega and Iran. So in the last episode we have done quite a lot of things. Uh, first of all we actually found out that uh, some of these focuses are extremely good. They lower the tax uh, cost, increase the tax revenue, increase construction speed, the research speed and stuff like that and today we are going to finish this which uh, we have two choices with pride and prejudice or with determination and tears both of them give us uh, the ability to build nuclear warheads so i don't think we need both of them one of them is enough and this one is cheaper uh in the ways of time with determination with determination and tears we have gotten so close to our goal the obtaining of nuclear weapons soon will our first weapon be produced and the world will finally realize the true potential and might that is iran so we're gonna finish this so that we can do nuclear weapons and then we're gonna focus more on well on Vaja because we have people screwing with us so we need to increase our uh, resistance to enemy actions but then we're gonna look at some of these because they are really goddamn good and many of them give a lot of political power and some other bonuses like two extra military factories and 75 political power lowered education cost you give also nice thing oh, that is pretty much a ton. Oh god. Daily political power getting construction speed. Yeah, there is a ton of things here that we want. Uh, but for now, we have to hold because we decided to subsidize a bankrupt company in the style of Iran and their internal uh, companies, which bumped up our relations with Bazaar to 95, meaning we have a huge boost to stability, civilian industry construction speed, and lower tax cost. But uh, we are paying a ton of money for that. So we need to increase taxes even further and uh, hold off on that. But with the political power afterwards, we can switch the uh, medical from basic health clinics to. I mean, we might even be able to go all the way to basic universal healthcare when I think about it. I don't even think we need the tax cost. Well, we don't, but we could frankly use everything else like the bonus to stability, monthly population, political power gain. Uh, we'll see. Oh, and I forgot that we finished the uh, decryption too. Okay. So with that said, what can we do here? I think construction 5 would be good. We're already researching monthly population. Computers are still a thing of the future. So let's go with construction 5. Construction speed and factory repair speed increased by 7.5%. The future of efficient construction will require more extensive planning for individual projects as well as standardized solutions wherever possible. So let's get that off the table because that is something that we want. And uh, last but not least, we're constructing fuel silos because we found out that we have 190 days to finish... Um, well, it's battling the sanctions, basically. Uh, this increases stability, war support, construction speed, production, efficiency, cap, growth, and pace uh, if we manage to build fuel silos. So I said, why the hell not? Um, we're gonna do it, right? Uh, oh, and we were still developing our influence sphere. Well, it had to happen sooner or later. We have 48.5% in Azerbaijan now. Give economic aid, they don't need that. Give military aid. Uh, would this increase our influence? You can only ship out APCs, IFVs, and infantry equipment until we can find a better way of designing the system. Sorry. Okay, that's uh, not an issue for us. We're actually producing a ton of those. Okay, you're now maxed out 47.2. So you want to this? That's 
Okay, upgrading the utility vehicles. How are our special forces doing when it comes to this? They don't need any of these, right? No. Okay, we auto influenced you. Yeah, you're getting some. You still have the old jeeps, but you're getting some of the newer ones. Which, frankly, doesn't help all that much, but it's fine. Oh, we finished the second one! Nice, we finally finished the second. Um, Okay, this is also Alejandro, <laughs> but the Hengam class, which you are over here and you are gonna go over here. So let's put you there. You also have zero fleets or air wings. Can you really carry just thirty? Seems like it. Well, that's still way more than I was expecting. So the attack helicopters are gonna help, and you guys could actually immediately get upgraded, couldn't you? Yep. You have absolutely no anti-air. That's kind of funny because you, being helicopter operators, are focused on anti-sub operations. Okay, we finished the Arras, which is a utility vehicle, 1995. And now we can do the last one, which is the D-O-M-R-A-P, MRAP. Um, kind of interesting that this was mentioned by Wolfau in the comments, and I um, honestly think that he's right. I need to read about that more. Uh, but the, the construction and the design of this vehicle was mostly influenced by the war in Iraq and Afghanistan. And that means... Uh, that uh, historically speaking this one is not uh, or should not be here or available but look at how far we've gone from defense 1 to defense 4.3 speed increased by 2 kilometers per hour fuel usage nearly doubled but reliability is now 98.1 percent heart attack and breakthrough increased from 2 and 1 to 4 and 4 and we even got the modern truck chassis Okay, we'll finish it up, then we can leave this thing uh, done. And I can actually start building, instead of Sepher, some Arasis. <laughs> Back to 10,220. Well, but, you know, uh, the old ones aren't gone. They're going straight to the stockpile. So we should see some of them here. Yeah, we're getting rid of the KM410 Jeeps. Which is the older ones, right? Oldest ones, not older ones, oldest ones, right? Yep, so we already discarded 2.8 thousand of these. And soon, well, hopefully, we're gonna soon see the Sapphire Jeeps and Sapphires also discarded. That would be pretty cool. Okay, so the first three silos are gonna be done. I don't know if we have any, to be quite honest. I don't know how to check. I mean, maybe we could actually check area by area. Okay, we already have two in here, so that might be enough, actually. Um, we have... I mean, you know what, let's finish it. I mean, we can definitely use more stockpile for our fuel. We do have a ton of it, and it's not such a biggie to have these, so... Okay, with well, the termination and tears is done. Amazing job, guys. We've done it. So now we have to just produce one of our nuclear weapons. And with that said, who can help us the most now? So you would lower education cost and increase research speed. Uh, research speed and education cost. 75 political power. You further lower the education cost. The Ministry of Defense. You give us two military factories. Identify the corrupt. Uh, wasn't there? Okay, let's go with this one. Prepare for the next century. This one increases construction speed uh, by 15%, which is amazing. Now that we have resolved many of the issues plaguing our nation, we can look past just a few years and begin making preparations for the next century. Such foresight will allow us to plan for anything that happens, and we will have to be diligent, and we will have to reform a bit to do so as well. 
So extra stability and extra political power, which we are going to turn into more taxes. Yay us. But then we're done, basically. And whatever deficit we'll have, um, have to hold on to. But it's not an issue for us. I mean, that is perfectly fine. So how are the spies? 20 more days. 21 more days, to be precise. Okay, Azerbaijan has been influenced yet again. 56%. Yep, we are getting very close to puppeting them. So that will preserve our northern border, basically. We're going to have this area. And we can help them as well. Making sure that the influence that Russia has in the region is lowered. Oh, Italians got the non aligned outlook. And we can then turn our interest to Pakistan or Afghanistan. I think Afghanistan would be a better choice here. Because we can start um, using them as the eastern buffer. And use them for that. Money is of a... Of yeah. I don't do that, guys. Interestingly, 1 trillion in GDP is not going to be soon much more than a few little pieces of money for us. Yeah, the ex income and expenses are really much higher than they were. I'm happy that expenses aren't growing all that much. While well, income is growing rapidly. Okay, so we're still paying for our debts, which is fine. Okay, hey, we can. We can't. Okay. Okay, only 0.6 now every week. And we've completed the. Stealing of the blueprints, we get decryption free. Why is it always decryption? That's like the technology I, I'm least interested in, but okay. I mean, fair enough. Wow, we lost everything we had in Turkey as influence? Uh, okay then. Well, Azerbaijan... We could maybe do something in Azerbaijan. What do we have here? Uh, capture Cypher. Prepare collaboration. Increase collaboration in Azerbaijan by 20%. I actually don't know what that is. Does collaboration... I mean, that is, I guess, resistance or compliance, that would be. Since that was infiltrated in their civilian administration, uh, we can use definitely you. And let's use you for that. Let's find ready and prepare. And we'll see if we can do something with the infiltrated civilian administration. See, Kawadala, they have no airplanes. It's an airplane-less country. Okay, so when is the first Damavant coming? On 4th of June? Oh! And did I... Of course I forgot to switch the Saki. God damn it. Okay, gene targeting pesticides have been done. So now we can do the synthetic life. Advances in gene technology have allowed us to create flight from scratch. Extra amount of population, but also trickle back and more support protection and experience loss benefits. Okay, so when's the next Sakih done? On 29th of June. Okay, we have to watch it. Because that is just ridiculous. Okay, we influenced 
Azerbaijan, we still need five strategic fuel reserves. It is a strategic fuel reserve, right? Yeah. It would be too late to say no now. Okay, let's keep the depth reasonable, okay, guys? No harm, no foul. To influence our high police. Okay. So with this one done, we now have enough political power to further increase the education. Uh, stop the Islamic propaganda that allows us to remove the self depreciation idea, which is goddamn great. Or identify corrupt officials on the Ministry of Defense, Minister of Communication and IT, Education Cost, Cyber Police. Uh, we've jumped through a couple here. Does Vaja has anything else here? Gain factor and support. Goods force. Islamic revolutionary. We arm the nation. Trial and error. Uh, no, I guess we can. Well, actually, these ones would be now pretty good and would help us. But considering the terrible state of our budget, I don't think we're going to go with that. So instead, let us go with based ability research. Yeah, let us go with the Islamic propaganda. Uh, we'll see what that's going to do. At least five strategic fuel reserves. We still don't have that. Really? Are you lying or did we really have zero? Because we might have just literally had zero. Okay, nanofibers in medicine has been finished, which gives us monthly population 30. Production efficiency in cap 5%, factory and dukeyard output increased by 5%, and health cost multiplier award by 15%. Amazing. And the last one here is centrifugal spinning, which is unfortunately way ahead of time. So instead, we are going to let you go with the machine learning. The development of the theory of machine learning at its core is the ability for a computer algorithm to improve automatically through experience. Developing this within our AI protocol can allow them to learn newer industrial tasks quicker as well as improve research and development. Extra research speed by 5%. I can appreciate that. Okay, let's increase the tax one more time and we are now at pretty reasonable deficit. It's the health clinics, isn't it? Yeah, that was a big change. So once we get rid of that uh, subsidy that we're paying, we are going to heavily improve the healthcare in our nation. Cool, so if you're gone, we can go... I guess this... Replaces more stability. No, oh, it should be good, but not not now. Abolish streamline entrance process. Oh, this lowers further corruption. Okay, so what is concur? The concur exam. Is the relic of the past. First used in 1979 to ensure the political loyalty of students 
who were attaining higher education. Now that we've consolidated our regime, we need not have such a limiting factor anymore, and we can allow everyone to receive education. Okay, wait, so prepare for the next century is giving us what? Daily political power gain and construction speed. Okay, so this is going to get us more political power gain, but for some reason it lowers research. Well, but I'll take it, because we can get rid of the corruption that way. No, we need to see this. Okay, we're very close to getting you guys done. Okay. Uh, what the hell? We do have the five strategic reserves. I have to teach fuel reserve. I I built five just now. So do I need? Do we need more? June, July, August. We still can build three more. Uh, okay, Islamic propaganda campaign. Islamic propaganda and showing the country's strength and progress will make our people lose the spirit of self-depreciation and they will be aware of the lies of the foreign media. They will see the reality and be proud of themselves. Okay. Military parade in Tehran. Social media campaign. We need money for that, which we do not have. Okay, and we will... Ah, okay, so we need to boost it, and then when we achieve a certain level, we can use political power to lower that. That's actually pretty good. Come on, I don't understand why, why the game is thinking that we do not have the strategic... I'm going to build three more, just to be... Cool, but I don't see what its problem is. I mean, if that. Am I doing something wrong? To complete at least five strategic fuel reserve. Didn't we just build five? I thought that we built five. Am I reading this wrong? Static for five minutes. We're getting weirder, but okay. Fifty-six in Azerbaijan. Hmm. Encourage private funds. Well, what's gonna happen over there? Uh, how are we doing with money? Still paying? Yep, still paying for that. So we'll abolish concur, which is gonna, for some reason, lower our research. Why would it? Do like that actually hurt us? But oh, okay. So we're gonna join this navy. And you're gonna drill. So we have four mine layers. And I have just again forgot about you, haven't I? Yep. Screw it. So kick E2. Because I will never learn. <laughs> I will never ever learn. Ah, uh, that sucks so much, but okay. Hey, and we can do this now. Which means we got 
factories for everything, but we actually have a huge penalty here, don't we? Yeah, 14% because we're short on... Wow, we're actually short on a bunch of stuff. So we need the technology metals. China and rubber. Okay, China, increase your imports. The next monetary factor is then going straight up to you guys because you use more rubber. Okay, so we abolished Concours, and now we can go with Perch Concours Mafia. The Concours Mafia is a colloquial term for those who profit of all the students who are attempting to take the test, as although the test itself is quite cheap to take, the materials required are monopolized by those who know the needs of the students, and with the abolition of the exam, we should purge all individuals who are involved in this monopolized system. So we get an extra stability of 5%, and we replace slight corruption with negligible corruption. So let's get that, and be happy with the results. Did I? I am such a moron. I've been building the wrong thing this whole time. I've been building synthetic refineries, weren't I? Haha, <laughs> okay. You guys are gonna have a laugh at that. Okay. Well, thank God they're so cheap. That we're still gonna manage, but my god, am I a dumb ass? Nope. Nope, nope. How did I? Okay. Yeah, you're gonna be done really quickly. So that's. <laughs> I knew I was doing something wrong, and I had no idea what. And now I know. Cool. So we have more refineries, meaning we have more production of fuel. Awesome. That wasn't a waste at all. A country with 182 oil builds, you know, an extra couple of synthetic refineries. Well, I mean, who is to say... <laughs> I just imagine the meeting where they're saying like, Sir, we don't have any place to store the oil. Hmm, we should burn more refineries. No, wait, no! <laughs> and then they build refineries everywhere. <laughs> just, just... And I was thinking like, why isn't our... Ah, oh God, I'm so dumb. <laughs> no, okay, I mean... Let's let's do this stuff. We st thank God I noticed before time, but you guys are gonna have a chuckle at that. Jesus Christ. And Mars, do we still have time? Yeah, okay, we finished it. God damn it. Okay. Well, someone's gonna lose their head over this. <laughs> thank God it's not gonna be me. Jesus Christ. And we can conduct all transactions in exchange for gold, which will further lower tax cost, stability increase, and so on. Cool. So let's get that done. Oh my God. And what have I done? <laughs> I, I can't publish this episode. You guys are gonna laugh at me for a couple of years here. I can't imagine that. Jesus. But the good news is that um, the production of helicopters and airplanes is increasing very well. I'm gonna produce at least eight airplanes and about maybe like ten attack helicopters, which is great. Cool! So we purchased the Concours Mafia. 
And I think this is a great place to end the episode. Wow, you guys are going to have a chuckle at that. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. It was fun. Uh, I'm going to end the session here. We've done a ton. We still haven't increased the healthcare, but that's what we're going to work on. Um, I have a feeling that with all of these um, education-related costs that we can take, like the jihad on education and, you know, the system and education cost multiplier, stuff like that, we could effectively gain more money. And I mean, point... No, it's not what I wanted, but currently the point one... Uh, was it point one GDP? Yeah, point one GDP, that would be uh, divided by a hundred. That is... Yeah, it should be something like 2.7 billion at this point so that means we can increase the investment by 2.5 billion maximum which could easily put us at the basic universal health care which I think is a good idea yep and that's gonna skyrocket our population because already we more than doubled it in the span of a couple of episodes and the 55 percent is yeah that's another 45 percent boost Okay, it's going to be a heavy investment, but um, the population is what's paying our taxes, guys. It's the one. And we've already increased the taxes, so now we have to do it. And frankly, if we have a negative tax cost, we can start increasing the corporate tax as well. Because this is going to keep lowering the tax cost, and we can f play with this, further increasing money from corporate. So that's a way to go in the future episodes. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me, Now, see you in the next episode.